Hello everybody, this is Ray with FI Design bringing you a tutorial today on how to set up an 8.5 by 11 trifold brochure in Adobe Illustrator. At this point I'm assuming that you already have Adobe Illustrator or you wouldn't be here watching the tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. Click on File, go to New. Uh, you can name your project if you want. We want to make sure that we are set on Print for our document profile. When I work with front and back projects, I like to make sure that I have two artboards. Uh, I like mine set side by side so that I have a left to right view. And we'll leave the number of columns to two. The spacing set to default. I want to come over to units. I want to select inches. And then I want to make sure my artboard orientation is set to landscape for this brochure. The next thing I want to do is I want to set my bleed. I'm just going to click up once here and it's going to set my bleed all the way around at 1.25 which is standard at an eighth of an inch. I'm going to leave everything at the bottom default. Go ahead and click OK. Now when it comes up you see that we have our two artboards. The active artboard is represented by a black border around the artboard. If you look at our second one here, it is a gray border. That lets you know that that artboard is not selected. And obviously the black border artboard is. If you go ahead and click on your second artboard, you'll see that the black border moved to it and it is now active. So starting at our first artboard right here, uh, we're going to go ahead and set our guides. If your ruler is not showing, like mine are not right here. Go ahead and click on view. Go to rulers. Show rulers. And what we want to do is hover above your ruler here, right click on it, and set it to pixels. Now after we have it set to pixels you'll see that the width of our artboard is 792 pixels. If you divide 792 by 3 you're going to get 264. Now 264 is the span between our two fold lines. So what we want to do is go ahead and grab your eyeglass tool here. Let's zoom in until you can see 264 right here. Let's move everything up. Let's grab our select tool. Click on your ruler and drag it out and then drop your guide on 264. Now 264 and 264 is 528. So 528 is where you're going to want to be dropping your second guide for your second fold on the page. So go ahead and click and drag it out. Drop it in place. Now let's slide to our second artboard. Uh, now this is something I, want, I do want to point out. If, if you look up at your ruler right here, you'll see that the ruler is still set for the first artboard. That's because the first artboard is still active. To set the ruler to the second artboard, again, just click on it, make it active, and you'll see that the ruler snaps in place to the second artboard, bringing everything in place for us. So with that selected and the ruler changed, let's go ahead and move over here to 264. Click and drag a guide out, drop it. Let's move over to 528. Let's go ahead and drag the guide out and drop it. Now for both of our artboards we've got both of our vertical guides set for our folds. Now what we want to do is set our vertical guides for our safe zones. The safe zones are the same as the bleed. They're an eighth of an inch and the pixel equivalent to an eighth of an inch is nine pixels. Uh, to better do that let's go over here so that I can show you starting from the zero because what we want to do is we want to zoom in on the document. Right now we are at uh, 12 pixel increments. We want to be at 6 pixel increments to get this set. So let's go ahead and grab our magnifying glass. Let's zoom in. And now that we have our 6 pixel increments here we want to set our guides at 9 pixels. Now the easiest way to remember that is you just go to the 6 and then halfway between them. So you're essentially you're looking at 6.5 on the ruler. 
and that's going to give us our nine pixels. And the easiest way to do that is just remember one and a half spacing when we go to the center of our page here. So let's go ahead and move over here to our first vertical guide for our fold. And we're just going to come out one and a half on this side and one and a half on the other side and what this does is for our content on each section of the brochure and that's going to give us our safe zone it's just going to keep our margins looking right so let's go ahead and slide over here to our second fold line and let's set these All right, now with our safe or our, our margin set up for our safe area there, let's go ahead and go out to the edge of the document. We'll set that one. And then while we're here, we can go ahead and we can drag out our horizontal safe line. And the same rule applies to your ruler on the left. We're in six pixel increments. So just drag down to six and a half which is one and a half spacing and go ahead and let your guide do, go there we'll slide down to the bottom here and again same thing just go ahead and click drag and drop now we'll move back to our first artboard and start setting our safe zones there as well. Again, let's reset our ruler so that it's on the active artboard, which is the first one that we're going to be working on. We have our black border here. Let's click and drag. Drop our guide there. Move over to our fold line. Click and drag. We'll do our last one here for our fold guides. And now for the far left, we'll just set that one. Now if we come down to the bottom, uh, you see this little box here. This is our percentage. This is for our viewing percentage. Let's go ahead and uh, click on the drop down here. Let's go out to 100%. Now, looking at the finished artboard, you see that we have our red bleed line. We have the edge of our document here. And we have our safe zones all the way around. And essentially, what these safe zone lines, or these eighth inch lines, are doing for us inside the brochure is they're setting a margin for us. So that everything looks in its proper place. Now what we want to do... <clears throat> so that we're not having to repeat this process every time we want to do a brochure we're going to go up here to file we're going to come down to save as a template and when we do that you'll see the dialog box open open up here that uh, gives you the option of uh, making new folders and then putting specific templates in specific folders I already have one here titled print we double click you see I already have my trifold brochure template set up uh, you can name it similarly you can name it the same thing or whatever is easier for you after you go ahead and name it down here just go ahead and click save and it's done what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll close this out I'm going to say no I already have it I'm gonna go up to file now you want to go to new from template and what that will do is, is again it's going to open up the dialog box that brings up your folders go into the folder that you have your brochure template in double click on it it opens up and here we are now all you have to do is design away I hope this tutorial was informative for you it showed you what you needed to know and uh, if you have any requests please go ahead and leave a comment, forward them to me, and I will do what I can to get a video up for you. Thanks a lot, guys, and until next time, have a great one.